What they said. It's the competition where two teams destroy stuff. Yeah! Oh! Ah! Oh! And use the wreckage to build awesome machines to compete with. Yeah! One! Let's, let's, let's. And the losers get destroyed. Facing off on today's show, it's the Bullseyes. Yeah! Yeah! Versus the frenemies. Yeah! 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 It's the frenemies. Hi, I'm Ryan, and I'm 13. The frenemies, we're friends, but we're also enemies because we bicker and argue a lot. But we're going to throw it down to the bullseye. I'm Cameron. I'm 13. And man, I could be your best friend, but if you cross me, I'm going to be your worst enemy. Hi, my name is Brianna. I'm 12 years old. And the bullseyes, they got nothing on us. Speaking of bullseyes, here they are. Hi, I'm Miles. I'm 12 years old, and I'm representing the Bullseyes. And today, we're going to strike the frenemies with precision accuracy. Hey, guys, I'm Joey. I'm 13 years old. We're going to kick the frenemies' butt today with our aggressiveness. Yo, my name's Marley. I'm 13 years old. We can hit any target. And today, our target's the frenemies. On today's show, you guys are going to be building destroyers. But not this kind of destroyer. <laughs> This kind of destroyer! Oh, oh, my God. God. You're going to be building seaworthy vessels with a working motor and a tennis ball cannon capable of sinking an entire fleet of your opponent's ships in our final challenge in Lake Destroy, Build, Destroy. Wow. Now, we figured in order to build big boats, you're going to need a lot of materials to build from. So what better to build out of than the wreckage you create when you destroy the biggest cars we can find? Oh. Now, as always, each team is going to create the wreckage that the other team will build with. And you have three options. Option number one, torpedo. This is a full-size, real-deal naval torpedo strapped onto the top of that car. If that's our Navy option, that means uh, option number two involves enlisting our car in the Air Force when we send it flying, or should I say plummeting, down that hill. Oh, oh gosh. And that's for option number three, we have our Navy, we have our Air Force, and now we have our very own Marine Corps, the Destroyer! Okay, so frenemies, you won the coin toss before the show. That means you get to pick your option here. I think, I think the, the torpedo. The Navy, you know, the torpedo, it'll blow it up into small bits, and it's got to yeah. float. So but I what guess. about the destroyers or the I know, yeah, but like, it'll, it'll make it like small pieces, and yeah, then it'll make it hard to like put it, it together. Harder. Cool. So We're going to go with the torpedo. Torpedo? I like it. You guys ready to do this? Yeah! yeah! Okay, come on, let's go right over here. All right, frenemies, this switch will trigger the torpedo, and whenever you're ready, it's all for you. Are you one guys bigger. three, two, two one, one, destroy! Oh! 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 Now that is what I call a direct hit. Now that's a bullseye. All right, Team Bullseye, that leaves you with two options left, either uh, the Air Force or the Destroyers. I say Air Force, because it's going to come plummeting down you that know, thing. It's going to be sandwiched. It's going to be tiny. Yeah, the Air yeah. Force is going to crush it into a yeah. car cube. That's, that's yeah, yeah, car cube. Air Force. Air Force crushed car cube. You want to see a flying car? Yeah! yeah I very like much. it. We got our destroyer up there with the crane. When you're ready, give him the cue. Three, two, one, destroy! Ho, oh, 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 ho, oh, ho, airborne! Oh, oh, it's tumbling! God. All right, guys, time to build your destroyers. Now, oh, yeah. you can use all the wreckage from your big cars, uh, any of the odds and ends we threw in there. And remember, you each have a team of ace builders. When the build is done, we'll put you and your creations to the test in a fleet versus fleet destroyer final challenge. Whoever wins that gets $3,000 and the pleasure of destroying the losing team's vehicle. Oh, yeah!
You guys know how this works, right? Radar. Okay. Hey, that's a great part. Hi. Okay. We gotta go get some stuff. We gotta go get some stuff. Come on. Can we get the steering wheel? That's good for railing. We need the wheels, yeah. the doors, yeah. and the steering wheel, and probably some of that metal that's in there. We have some big ideas, so we're gonna need a lot of stuff. We're gonna cut the hood and the two doors. Do we want those other boards? Yeah, probably, yeah. We're gonna make a ducky of destruction. Oh, that'll be cool. I know, right? So we got the Ducky, Ducky of Destruction. Destruction. We're gonna build the coolest boat you will have ever seen. It's the Ducky of Destruction. The yeah. most important part is we need a head. And we were wondering if it could squirt out water or squirt out anything. Water cannon. I'm not sure if the builders are up for this challenge, but we definitely are. But it has to have pointy teeth. Duck with teeth. There you go. Our design has a duck head that can swivel 180 degrees, and the air cannon is located inside the duck's head. We, we got a lot of work to do. Let's get back to the build. Let's get back to the build. Let's go, let's go. Drop this over here. Hey, you guys, I had a good idea. Yeah. We could cut that off, stick one end on this, right? And then we could fill it full of tennis balls. We is need to cut something idea? straight, though. Because, no, because if it's like, straight, it and it's I know, like, but we need to. The frenemies, we argue and bicker a lot, so we implemented this strategy, two votes, go. Vote, vote, right. ammunition holder, and gas tank holder. I think the vote system is really going to help us out a lot. Okay. All right, who should think that we should use it for floating over design? All right, that's two. All in favor of using these for that's the boat, that. say aye. No, right, right. I think it's going to be unanimous today. Yeah, you guys are going to hit the design table after we put this down. Raise your hand. OK. Three. Don't raise your hand, just vote. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go to the design table. OK. So, first we gotta start with the base, okay? Like the chair can be like here. No, because that's like, it needs to be in the back. Yeah. Yeah. So much front. Front. Steering. Wait, wait, you guys, you guys. When we were at the design table, our frenemy side came in. And we were arguing and bickering and we were drawing all over the place. Okay, who takes a vote on the gun being on the back? No, it should be on top of this, on top of this. Hey, do you think we can make this thing look like a gator? Wait, I'm confused. Guys, what exactly are you talking about? We're having trouble agreeing on an idea, but we think we want it to look like a gator. And we're gonna have the motor in the back and the cannon up front. We'll use let's it Let's just for... start again. Yeah. Let's start over. The shipyard is bustling as the frenemies oh, vote on that. Vote on that. And the bullseyes. Can you help me, Joey? Prepare for battle on the high seas. Look at that red stripe on there. Perfect, Joey. Hey yo! Frenemies, bullseyes, I see good progress here. But it's time for the setback challenge. Get up here! Oh, Get hey. up here! Woo! Perfect. Yeah. All right, guys, today's setback challenge is called Fire Hose Freakout. And the object is to use your team's hose to fill your tank as fast as possible. Now, when I say go, the hosers will begin shooting the water at the hosees who will be standing on the other side. They must catch the water in a five-gallon bucket and race it back to their team's tank. And once you fill to the blue line, we're going to make things a little bit harder, because then you have to start using a two-gallon bucket to collect your water. Oh. Once you get it to the yellow line, the harder again, a 16-ounce glass is what you must use to fill your oh. tank the rest of the way. So the first team to get to that red line wins the setback challenge. You guys ready? Yeah! All right, let's do this. All right, this is it. On your marks, get set, go! Go, 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 Ryan is taking a backwards go, 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 go. route to his tank. We are starting to fill up. Two bucket folds, one from each team. Right here, right here. Right, this is right. really neck and neck here, folks. Oh, head. a slight tumble. I fell on my butt, and uh, <laughs> I didn't feel too hot. <laughs> These flippers definitely add a layer of complication. Oh, oh, it's like up. learning to walk all over again. Okay, I'm going. Oh. I got sprayed square in the ear, and I had a hard time standing up. I could hear, but it was very muffled. It was kind of like, and it was like all oh, crazy. Whose eyes are in the lead, frenemies? OK, go, Cameron! We were going, we were neck and neck, and then the wind hit. Oh! OK, let's go, let's go, let's 
go, 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 right here, right here. Harley, aim your bucket that way so that when the wind pushes it, it goes into it. There you go. They don't call them the bullseyes aim for nothing. All that precision aim is really paying off. But it's certainly very close oh, as Cameron makes another frenemies dump. OK? And Miles coming with another full bucket. This could be the one. Yeah! I'm calling it. That's it. On to the next one. Marley, grab the next one. Grab the smaller one. The bullseyes have officially moved on to stage two. They will now be using a two-gallon bucket to go to the yellow line. Frenemies, I think this is going to put you over the top. Absolutely. You're there. You're there. On to the two-gallon bucket for the frenemies. Go! Aim to the right. I'm trying. Go, Brian, just go. You guys are going too long. Their enemy side definitely came out in this challenge. And the bullseyes have their heads down and their eyes on the prize. Let's see. This might do Woo! it. And Marley, that's it. That's mini it. Mini bucket, mini bucket. They're filling up their 16-ounce cups, or at least trying to. You try shooting a fire hose into a juice glass. And the frenemies are nearing the yellow line as well. well the there frenemies are not giving up. Keep them coming. Frenemies, you are almost there. Oh! I'm stretching If forward. the bullseyes keep falling down, it'll give the frenemies a chance to catch up. OK, that's it. Frenemies, you move on to the glass. It's still anybody's game. OK, now this could be it. Marley is approaching no. with a half-filled 16-ounce glass. No, that's not it. Ah! Here comes Miles for the oh, bullseyes. God. This might do it. That's it. It's over. Yeah. It is over. The bullseyes have won the setback challenge. Yeah, I got that last cup in there. I went, I turned around, and I just knew I won. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, oh, no, this no. setback challenge was great. It was really hard, but it was totally worth it for winning. All right, bullseyes, you won the challenge, and now you get to cause some pain to the frenemy's yeah. vessel. You have two options with which to set them back. Number one is called, boy, oh boy, oh boy. And what that means is that the frenemies will have to take this boat all the way around the pond and collect all eight of these floating buoys. Now, option number two, I call from ship to shore. Or maybe I should say shore to ship, because that's a half ton of shoreline that you're going to dump all over their vessel. They got to dig it out. They got to clean it up. They got to repair it. So which one do you want? I mean, I like the buoys, but that's just going to wear them out physically. This is going to break their machine. The sand might work. I mean. But the oh, sand's going to do the damage. Yeah, the yeah, that's true. We're going to go ashore. Dump shoreline all over their vessel. Yeah, well done. All right, let's do this. Come on, more, uh -oh. more. Yeah! Oh! 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 oh. 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 Wow. Get digging. All right. Got a lot of digging out, out to here. do. Go. Yeah. Get out. Oh, oh dude, that, that, that was good. <laughs> go! Just go! Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna Take push. Take it off! I'm a fast digger, you guys. You guys, paddles, paddles. <laughs> Woo! This is terrible! Dude, this chair is gonna be so epic. Dude, that side dark blue, this side light blue. That'll be cool. The front of me totally got set back by the setback challenge. I mean, we got to trick our ride out. So I want everybody to be comfortable with my ship when I'm shooting. But I also want the comfort of being safe and not getting tennis ball shot at my face. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. So are we ready to go on? Let's take a vote. I say, I we're ready. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Let's go! It's unanimous. Let's start building. Leave this part right here. After the setback challenge, we really got behind. So we need to come together as a team. It's about 31 and a half. If we can do that, then our destroyer is going to be awesome. Now this is what I call artwork. I did it. Winning the setback challenge definitely was an advantage, because we got to do so much more detail work on the boat. That is so amazing. Dude, that thing's got a head, wings, current, everything. Cup holder, that's what it is. Yeah, missing. cup holder, it's missing cup holder. No, seriously, can we get a cup holder on it? <laughs> Mile. Wait, can I have a cup holder too? It's not a competition on style points!
The bullseyes, I think they bit off more than they can chew when they start building wings and beaks for a duck. What is that going to do? I mean, it's probably just going to get in the way. Dude, they're going down. Yes, they are. The gator is a real destroyer, not a bath toy. We need to start testing this out. Oh! oh. And when we win, we're going to make them look sillier than they already look. I am the ducky of destruction. Quack! All right, guys, this is it. Time is officially up. Put down your tools. No more nothing. It's time for the final challenge. Let's do this. We got this. We got this. Woo! It's finished. Yeah. Right. Going down. You're going down. It's on like Donkey Kong, people. Go! Go, 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 go. Turn left. Bullseyes, where are you going? Joey, back up quick. I am, I am. Joey, put us in reverse. Back up. Front of me, this is your opportunity. A direct hit for the frenemies! Yeah! The frenemies and the bullseyes are about to do battle right here on Lake Destroy, Build Destroy. Let's see what they built. The Ducky of Destruction is one of the most creative builds I've ever seen. Complete with wings and a moving bill, it's a design of pure madness. But hey, that's why I like it. But the frenemies are not fooling around with their gator-themed destroyer. It has an observation deck, an air cannon in the bow, and the gator is eating a ducky. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. The goal of the final challenge is to sink all of the other team's boats. And you have two ways with which to accomplish that. The first is hitting it with your tennis ball cannon. That will sink a boat. The other option, of course, is your remote-controlled torpedo. One hit with the torpedo, that boat goes down. And finally, you may not shoot any tennis balls or launch any torpedoes until you're past the halfway point in the lake. First team to sink all their enemy ships wins the challenge, gets the $3,000, and gets to destroy the other team's boat. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah! Good luck, you guys. I don't really wish them good luck. You too! You too! We're gonna kick frenemies butts. On your marks, get set, go! Go, 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 Joey is driving for the bullseyes. Turn us right, okay, good. Good job, good job! And the bullseyes have crossed the center line and are getting in position to shoot. But the frenemies look like they're having some trouble. Turn it! Oh, oh the frenemies have hit the wall! Your pit crew is there if you need them, Ryan! Well, I've driven a boat before, but this thing is huge. It's like driving an elephant. Turn it! Turn it! The frenemies are stuck on the wall, and it looks like the bullseyes are taking aim. Take your time. Ready? And oh! Skips over the boat. Not as easy as it looks. It's OK, Miles. You got it. Miles, shoot it. Yeah! A direct hit. The bullseyes lead one nothing, and the frenemies still haven't fired a shot. Sam, start shooting. I don't, I don't have a shot. OK, OK, I'm trying. I'm moving. No. Frenemies still trying to maneuver, and the bullseyes are moving in for another shot. Get me closer. We got it! The bullseyes have sunk another yeah. ship. Yeah! The bullseyes lead two to nothing, and the frenemies finally getting their boat into position. Cameron's taking aim. Dang it. Oh, very close. Frenemies, you're still in this, but you've got to move fast. Come on. Direct hit for the frenemies! I just hear boosh! I look up and it's sinking, and I'm like, wow. And the bullseyes have launched the torpedo. Marley is at the remote, and the torpedo is zigzagging wildly. Marley trying to get control. We put it in the water, and then I can't control it. It's going all over the place. I was like, what? But finally, I got it steady, and boom! It was beautiful. One more! One more! One more! One more! One more! Bullseyes need one more boat to win it. Frenemies, you need three. You've got to hustle. It's over. Go! Ah! Guys, bring me closer! Bullseyes are lining up their last shot. This could be it. Oh, it goes wide right. Now, you can do this, Cameron, but you've got to hurry. Woo! It's three to two. Frenemies are catching up. Bullseyes, where are you going? Joey, back up quick. I am, I am. The ducky back is up. on the wrong side of the floats. They can't shoot until they back up. Joey, put us in reverse. Back up. 
I am, I'm trying. The boat started drifting. We started getting pushed into a corner, so I got a little worried. Come on, get a torpedo out. Here, here, Brianna, I'm putting one in. Okay. Can I fire now? Funimis, this is your opportunity. Go, 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 go. Drive, drive, drive. Go, go, go. A little more. Bullseyes, you're back at firing range. <laughs> and down it goes. That's it. It's all over. It's all over. It's all over. Just satisfying feeling. Woo! Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. We did it! <laughs> Woo! Oh, we did it! Gnarly yeah. Good job! You guys really Good job! Me. Come on. You guys did a great Good job. job. Good job shooting. Good job steering. All right, bullseyes, you won the $3,000, but now the real sweet deal, you get to destroy the front of me's boat. Two options here. Option number one, it's back! Yeah. The same remote control style torpedo is here, but now mounted on wheels. They'll get driven out right up to their boat and finish the job. Oh. Or if you've had your fill of remote controlled stuff in general, let's cut to the chase, plastic explosives. Works very well, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. So think them over and pick one. I'm sorry, but I think we've had our luck with RC today. Yeah, maybe maybe we shouldn't push our luck. Let's pick C4. Yeah, C4. Cut well, to the chase. Yeah. All right, let's go do it, come on! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Whoa. 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 Okay, Bullseyes, I am activating the detonator. That red light means it's ready to blow when you're ready to go. All right, let's do this. Guys. Yeah. Three, Three two, two, 